what's going on guys checking back in on the garden check it out guys we got the optic six generation four garden here and we got the four girls we got the dynafem og kush we got the holy grail kush we got the wedding cake cross with apple fritter and we got the og kush number 18 and, and that's pretty much what we're growing in this entire grow for all three tents it's pretty much all separated so we're going to see a uh, difference with each light in each garden so that's going to be interesting to follow if we're getting different results uh, so it's all same genetics just different seeds all feminized seeds and we're running them in air pots and smart pots so we just passed week two and we are getting some really nice beautiful vigorous growth coming out of these girls got some nice air movement here the fans blowing them around getting their stems nice and strong we got the light pretty much at like 35 percent or so we are about three and a half maybe four feet away from these girls yeah check out this awesome growth these girls are looking really happy happy and healthy that is what i like to see some nice big fan leaves coming in so the last two weeks we've just been giving them water and pretty much only been watering like the top like one third of the pot and we're getting the root structure really nice and big and then once we water the entire thing that whole root structure is just going to expand and these girls are just going to explode with growth so yeah that is what's going to be happening this week now over here in the slim 320h autoflower tent we got the autoflowers here the three autoflowers and we just gave them their first feeding one day ago so as you can see there I dripped a little bit on this one and I do need to spray this down with some water that's how I usually get these spots away because if you uh, drip some fertilizer water on them it'll kind of dry and make those little spots like that and it doesn't look really good at all so it is good to wash those off we have very nice happy growth coming here with the autoflowers as we can see here see yeah we got some hairs and we are showing sex here is this one showing sex yeah so here's a perfect example of a runt so here's one that is proper size we got some nice structure to it and then this one's like half the size and it's already showing sex so we know this one's kind of gonna be a runt it's probably only gonna get you know maybe a foot tall or so this one might get a bit bigger so now I'm thinking because this one and this one kind of look like they're gonna be more on the run size I may start one more autoflower just because I know that's not gonna really fill up the tent too much this one will probably get a nice size and fill up this area these two I think I could probably push to the side here and throw another autoflower in there so I probably will so yeah that is the update on the autoflowers we're still only on 50% with these uh, lights here and we are around uh, two and a half feet away and we are getting around like 300 350 par and that's kind of what I'm pushing for for these guys because they are now going into their flower stage and with these vegging girls here we can kind of have the par a little bit lower because they're just in veg and they don't need a ton right now we're not getting any stretch on these girls we're just getting some nice happy vigorous growth looking really nice and healthy nice and green check it out big family is coming on some of these girls so that is a good sign they're just dancing in the wind and I'll be keeping these girls around 300 400 par for the rest of veg also now is the time I'm going through here and just tucking leaves in helping the undergrowth uh, get more light so it can shoot up better I always recommend doing this once they get around two weeks to three weeks old that's when you gotta start doing the, the fan tucking and it really helps you'll see very much like LST kind of results after you do the slots LST or high stress training some people say oh did you top your plants no nope, never topped them just did some leaf tucking once they're that age and they you know kind of just grow up as a bush after a while so it is a handy little technique and I very much do recommend it 
Yeah guys, that is the update for these guys. That is all the tents. We got the 4x4 Slim 600H tent here. And over in this one, right next to it, the other 4x4, we have the Opticate Plus Next Gen. Rocking it for the first time. We're gonna get these girls nice and big, flipping the flower, and see how this light produces. Hey guys, just want to do a little reminder. I can't put links in my descriptions anymore for my LED lights or pretty much anything that's not Amazon. A lot of growing channels have been affected by this on YouTube. So if you want to help support the channel and you're interested in getting an LED light, a grow light, and you need help choosing or something, make sure you contact me at Dr. Autoflower on Instagram or Dr. Autoflower Cannabis at gmail.com. That's my email. You can contact me, I can help you out, and I can hook you up with discount codes to give you the best discount code that's going on at the time. So I'll help you save a bit of money and you'll be supporting the channel. So thank you all and uh, let's get back to the show. All right guys, we are now watering and feeding these girls here. These auto flowers were watered and fed uh, the other day. We gave them a weaker advanced nutrient mix than what we're giving the regular photo period plants because uh, auto flowers are a little bit more touchy. So we'll show you guys what we're given these photo periods and what we give for nutrients through the seedling to veg phase. So I started the autoflowers off with some different uh, before I used the bloom A and B. We're going with the basic advanced nutrients, perfect pH nutrient line here. Uh, the grow, the micro, and the bloom. So for the autoflowers we're starting them off with one milliliter per liter and for the photo periods we're doing 1.5. We could do two but I'm just starting for 1.5 just to ease them into it and that goes for all the other base nutrients too. We got the bloom here, got the micro here and we're also using B52 and voodoo juice and that's what we're using for the veg. It's really handy because Advanced Nutrients has a calculator and you can calculate exactly what you need to give each week. But I would stress for autoflowers, make sure you cut that in half of what they're telling you to give and then you should be pretty damn good. But as you can see here, these girls are growing nicely and they're looking like they want some water. So we're going to get to it and get these girls all watered up and check back in after we're done. These girls are going to get huge starting this week. After their first feeding, they're just going to start jumping for the light. We are in the Optic LED Gardens here and checking back in on these girls and they are looking really nice. Check it out, really nice, happy, vigorous growth here. Look at that. After their first feeding, everyone's taken off. This is what I like to see after the first feeding, we're getting exponential growth right away. And these girls are getting bigger and bigger every day. Got the Optic 8 Plus Garden here, doing a beautiful job on these girls. New genetics, all Kush. Got the Holy Grail Kush, Lemon OG Kush, OG Kush number 18, and we got the Wedding Cake Cross with Apple Fritter. Check out this growth here, guys. Loving it. Everyone is looking really on point, and we can easily start doing some more LSTing here, tucking these leaves in. Like this one really wants to get some light here, and we're just gonna tuck some leaves under it, allow it to get more light, and this will all grow up. And this one down here, tuck all these fan leaves in, same with this. Oh yeah. These girls really want to take off. So yeah, we're gonna go through here, do fan tucking with all the leaves again on all these girls, and uh, it just really helps get them uh, growing up their side branches a lot more gets a really nice even canopy going and here in the slim 320h tent auto flowers are coming in nicely this one is really what I like to see with auto flowers it is growing vigorously it's shown sex and now we're getting pistols on all the branches 
These guys here, I think just starting to show sex. Samsung LM301H diodes doing their thing. going into week three of growth guys check it out check it out check it out this is one of our biggest auto flowers here this is the purple lemonade looking really nice going into flower getting lots of pistols coming in here nice vigorous growth I really like this this should be a very nice plant these guys over here these girls I mean are a little bit smaller um, they're not as vigorous but they are just going into flower. They're getting pistols all over the place. They're branching up more. I'm always coming in here doing leaf tucking. Hope everyone out there is having a good week. But yeah guys, let's get right into the update. We're in week three here. Uh, we are just starting to up the feedings for these girls. And we are seeing some very nice luscious growth. Check it out. All the cushions here. We got the DNA Holy Grail Kush. We got the Lemon OG Kush DNA. We got the OG Kush number 18 Reservoir Parada. I think that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> and we got the Wedding Cake crossed with Apple Fritter. That's what we got pretty much in all the tents, except, except the one variation here. We have one Dynafam OG Kush. So yeah, we got a lot of OG Kushes up in this grow guys. As you can see we got some beautiful growth coming in. Tucking these fan leaves in. As you can see here, these ones are not really wanting to branch. These two are branching out a bit, but these two, they're not really branching up. They're trying to grow tall. So I might start doing a little super cropping with these girls here. And that just kind of slaps them down and lets their side branches get more hormones and grow up. So I have had to raise the fan. It was a little bit too close and looked like these guys were getting a little uh, wind burn. It's not, it's not good. You got to make sure you're not blowing directly on your plants and just thrashing them. They don't really like that. These girls here are under the Optic 6 Gen 4 and probably my favorite light I've ever had in a 3.3 by 3.3 tent. Um, this thing is a little bit overkill, some people would say, but with the dimmers, man, I get amazing coverage and the power I can put out once I need it in full flower is unreal. So that's what I love about these new lights. Uh, before, back in the old days, you couldn't really go overkill like this. Uh, it, it was just too much because you didn't have the dimmers. Now that we have the dimmers, it is totally possible. And if you really want, you can do a little overkill and uh, put a really big light in a smaller tent and uh, just dim it to what you need. And uh, if you want to push it up, if you got CO2 in there, and if you really need it in your flower cycle, you can really push the par this way. But yeah, these cushions are coming along nicely here. Really trying to keep on my leaf tucking game as much as I can. Because after a couple hours, the leaves kind of flop back and go back to their regular position. But you just gotta just keep coming back in, bend them down. And then once they get a little bit taller, then they're more, you know, better for doing super cropping like this. This one's a little, I think, one of the tallest. So let's do a little super crop in here just for fun. Just to show you guys, just really gently, just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You don't want to be just snapping stuff. You just want to kind of gently push it over. Gently push it over. And there we go. Look, all that's exposed now. We'll take that one, put that up there. Take this little stem, put that there. And there, we just exposed all this undergrowth. Let's do that to this one too. Little 
you hear like tiny little popping when you do it too. You don't want to go too hard because you don't want to like snap it right off. Just really gentle, bend it over. Now all this is going to grow up and get a nice big canopy. Same with this, just big bushy canopy. And that is what we are after. All right, let's check out the slim 600H garden here. Everyone's on point. We got some really nice, good, beautiful growth. I guess now is a good time to do a bunch of these super coppings while I'm in here. Look at that, all this is going to grow up real fast. So yeah, we'll continue to do that to a bunch of these. The smaller ones will wait a bit longer, but we are about to pump them up to 400 par now that we're going into the third week of veg. Now that they're out of their seedling stage, we're going to go from 400 par to 600 par. So we're going to slowly ramp up to that and at 600 par, that 600 par, that's when we start flipping the flower and start ramping that up to about 850. 900 is usually what I go to and for people who don't know par is the measurement of usable light coming off uh, LED fixtures and like I tell a lot of people I highly recommend getting a par meter and they are really expensive they are like $400 I think something like that maybe maybe more but there is a much cheaper way and that is to get a lux meter and you can convert the numbers by using a mathematical simple equation just use it on your phone and it'll tell you exactly what your par is and it's very very close and it's only like 30 40 dollars all you have to search is lux to par on youtube here and you'll see a bunch of videos showing you how to do it and to get really the best quality out of your lights i highly highly recommend getting a par meter or a lux meter and just knowing what your par is and knowing what you're giving your plants it is such a game changer uh, once you do it, you will thank me so much. It is so helpful because maybe your lights are a little bit further away than it, what it should be, or maybe they're a little bit closer and you're you're just decreasing growth and uh, growth rate. So I highly recommend doing this. It will up your game and you will be very happy that you did. All right, now we're back in the slim 320H tent here with the auto flowers. This one here is just jumping. She is loving the nutrients we're giving her. Starting to flower up nicely. Looking lankier than these ones. These ones look more stout and indica style. These, this one kind of looks more on the sativa end of an autoflower, just really kind of lanky. A little bit thinner leaf structure. We're gonna slowly be upping their nutrients. We're giving them pretty low amounts. And now that we saturated the entire pots, we can see a lot more vigorous growth coming in. And you can tell these girls are starting to shoot up a bit more. But yeah, guys, that is it for the update. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, guys, peace out and catch you guys later.